In this video, we're going to be looking at formulas. Um, with formulas, uh, really all it is is an equation or a sum, but where instead of using numbers, we've got a symbol, or in this case, we've got letters that are holding the place for a number. Okay, so if we start looking here, for example, we've got a plus b equals c. Now we can say, well, we don't know what c is. But if we're told a equals 2 and b equals 3, then we can substitute these numbers into this little formula. So instead of a, we're going to have 2. Keep the plus. And instead of b, we're going to have 3. So if we solve that, 2 plus 3 equals 5. So we can say that C is equal to 5. Okay. So we're not trying to change anything, we're just replacing the symbol of the letter with the values that are given. Okay. Now, just have a bit of a look at the notation. We might see something like this. L equals 4N. When you've got a number next to a letter, you don't need to put the multiply sign. So this actually means L is equal to 4 times whatever N is. And then if we're told that N equals 5, well then L is equal to 4 times 5, which is 20. Okay. We've got another, uh, another formula up here, which is similar. You might recognise this as the circumference of a circle, which is equal to 2 times pi times the radius. So we would rewrite this as c is equal to 2 times pi times r. And we might be told uh, that pi equals 3.14. So we're just going to use an approximation for pi. And so the radius of the circle is four. Okay. So C in this case would be two times three point one four times four. Which if we reach for the calculator, two times three point one four times four gives us a circumference of 25.12. Okay. Uh, now with formulas, it's also useful to remember what order we need to do each part of these equations. So a good way of uh, remembering which you might be familiar with, is something called big mass, or you might have seen it written as odd mass instead. And this acronym helps me to remember what I need to do first. So the B stands for brackets. So if I've got any brackets in an equation, I always do what's in the brackets first. Then the I, that stands for indices, which is either like something squared or maybe something cubed. D stands for division. M for multiplication. A for addition, 
and S subtraction. So if we've got brackets, we do them first. Then we do any indices that we have, any division, any multiplication. The important thing with addition and subtraction is that we just do do these from left to right. So we don't always have to do the addition first. If we've got a subtraction followed by an addition, we just do it from left to right, we do it in that order. Okay. So let's have a look at an example. So we've got a formula here, S equals, and then we've got our brackets, PQ minus one, and the brackets are squared, minus R. Well, the first thing I'm gonna do is to substitute my numbers for my letters. So S is equal to, so instead of P and Q, I've got two, and remember when we've got two letters together or a number in a letter, it means that we multiply them. So we've got two times three. We've still got the open brackets. Minus one. We've still got R squared. And instead of R, we've got five. The first thing we're going to do is our brackets, okay? So that means inside the brackets. So we're going to ignore that squared sign for now. We're just looking at this two times three minus one, okay? So out of that bit, what do we do first? The multiply or the subtract? Well, multiplication's here, subtraction is down here. So the first thing we do is two times three, and that is six. With these, it's always good to show your workings and to just do one step each time. So we've done the two times three. So we've still got minus one, we've still got that squared, and we've still got minus five. Now, the next step. We've still got our brackets, so we're not going to do the, the squared yet, or the minus five, we're gonna do what's in the brackets. So six minus one is five. Now the brackets go away, because we've done everything in the brackets, but the two, the squared, stays. So we've now got five squared minus five. Now hopefully you remember that the squared sign means that you multiply the number by itself. So this is five times five minus five. And five times five is 25 minus five and we can just squeeze this in. Now all that we've got left is the minus, so we don't have to worry about what order we're doing anything. And that's going to give us an answer of 20. Okay. So the key thing with formula is to not overthink them. You might be given, let's say, a formula like this, and you might think, oh, I, I can't remember anything about circles. It doesn't matter. If they've given you the formula, and they've given you what values to use, you just insert them in, make sure that you're referring to your order of operations rules, and see what answer you get at the end.